<laughs> hey, what is up, guys? Unduality here, back with another video. And I know I said in the last video that Carla would be in this video, but she told me to make another video. And you gotta listen to the misses, you know? You don't listen to the misses, then you're gonna get hurt. Alright, so always, you know, listen to your girl. Anyways, as you can see for the title, this is about my MEPS experience in the Navy. Now, this is my first real experience in the Navy. Alright? And I, I'm not even in boot camp yet. Okay? I'm about to be. But this experience, it gets me so, like, it was, it got me tight. Alright? And it wasn't even because of the whole, you know, waiting, and yet I was there for basically two days, alright? I had to go to a damn hotel. Alright? And then, the next day, I got everything done, my physical. Alright? Now, MEPS, as if you don't know, is basically a physical on steroids. Alright? This is gonna be like the craziest physical of your life. But, anyways, this one experience, it was just this one guy, this one guy, who couldn't do a simple task, okay? The task was literally, you're, you're, basically you're down, like in a duck position, you know, you're like, squatting down. And you have to go from your feet to your knees. Basically, you're just like, in a squat position, you just go down to your knees, straight down. That's it. He couldn't do that task. That one simple task, and we were all on our feet in a squat position basically, dying because he couldn't do that. And we had to stay there until he could do that. Because if we didn't, then we would have to do everything all over again. Which was which was weird and stupid and crazy. And I, and I was getting pissed because I was right next to the guy. All right, and I'm just looking at him like, dude, just go down on your knees, please. <laughs> and then the doctor or whoever that was that was telling him to do that told me to shush. And I was like, I'm trying to show him so I could get out of here. Cause I don't want to stay here. It was literally the last task I gotta do until I start filling out paperwork and all this stuff about my job or whatever. And I'm just there praying that he gets it. It took us maybe like two or three minutes, and that's a pretty long time on the on in a squat position, all right? So I'm there and I'm waiting, and then he does it, and then we're all just relieved, all of us, all right? And I was just talking to the guy on the right, and I was like, "Yo, man, all right, my my thighs, I can't feel my thighs." He was like, I feel you, man. And we're just, and at this point, we're like, you know, we're in our boxes. We're in straight underwear. So we're just putting our stuff on. And it kind of looks, you know, eh. But, you know, you, you're going, you're joining the military. Come on. Like, it's going to happen. Like, if you go to boot camp, it's going to happen. So, you're in the showers, like, singing with each other. La La Land type shit. But anyways, yeah. So, that experience really got me tight because I... I'm a, I'm impatient, like, I want things to be done like that. And sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes a bad thing. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta make a living, you know, you gotta do you. Um, one more thing. One more thing. I know I said it was only one thing, it was, it was that guy, but the blood getting taken out. You know, horrible. Okay, because, so basically they have you, you're lined up, right? And I don't know what it was. I had something on my, my name tag that, like, it makes me go in the front of the line. So I went in the front of the line. And there was three people already getting their um, blood taken out, right? But only one of them gets taken out, like, at a time. So when the last per no. Yeah, when the last person got their blood taken out, I went in. Now, I'm sitting in a chair waiting for that person. He goes. Next person, he goes. Then I go. And I don't know what it is. Like, I'm kind of physically fit I guess you could say but I don't know if I didn't drink enough water or I don't know what it was but he couldn't find my vein so I'm there and I'm just he's just poking around looking for my vein doesn't find it so then he's like alright you're gonna have to get a blood a butterfly needle and we'll put it in your hand he puts it in my hand right it's just right there and I'm just waiting and then there's a girl at the end where I was first sitting and she's looking she's like out of your hand and she's like oh my god, oh my god. She's like dying, like straight up about to faint. And I'm just, I'm cracking up on the inside because I'm like, dude, like this is, this is nothing simple, all right? Because like, it's just a needle, all right? It's just a needle. People who, who cry over this thing, like, come on, it's a needle. It's going to go in you, go out, that's it. Boom. That's it. It's not going to kill you, all right? If you're going to join in the military and you faint like that, you, you're going to get needles almost every time you port or you dock somewhere. Like, come on. So... And then, 
I, I was mad because like, how were you poking around inside my skin? Like you were just, just digging, digging right into my skin. And I was like, what the hell? Like, come on, like I'm trying to get out of here, you know, I'm trying to leave. All right. And this was right before that thing with the guy happened, you know, with the, with the duck walk thing, the squats. All right. Squats. Leg day. All day. All right. But I don't want to keep on going on and on, but that was my experience. If you guys want to tell your experience, if you do watch this video, please comment down below or make your own video or, or whatever you want. A like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.